Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play I completely forgot that happened. It's been a long time since I've played this, but Mighty Switch Force. I bought this game on the 3DS when it first came out and I loved it to death. Now I apologize if the quality looks a little off. Um, <laughs> I could only I only can use composite cables for recording this, so if the quality seems a little dumbed down than it should be, that's because yeah. Now, as you can see, I have cleared this game before, but for the let's play, I'm gonna start out fresh. I still have my clear file on the 3DS. Yes, I own this on both, so we'll delete and start anew. There we go. This way we can see the opening cinematic. I hope. <laughs> First time I've deleted a file and it, eh, it bothers me a bit. Anyways, let's go, shall we? Starting off. Let's go. And here we are. Now, it's pretty much a puzzle platforming game, and I love it. Because it has both the Metroid and Mega Man aspects to it. Now, I know all of these girls are sisters, but I can't remember the full story. I believe if you check out the demo on, uh, not demo, the information on the eShop, and here, it tells you the story. It might be in the manual, too. Don't quote me, though. But our main goal is to collect all of the sisters and make it to the goal. You have a part-time, which actually will help you unlock goodies. Um, they're pretty easy to beat if you memorize the stages. It just takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. I still have yet to do it on the hyper missions. <laughs> but you'll probably see me plow through a lot of these stages. Nope, that was close. You do get health throughout the stage too, so don't worry about losing it all. But most of the game is about patience and figuring out the puzzles, and if you want to challenge yourself, speed through them. You can use almost any of the buttons to swap between the uh, puzzles too, like every time you hear me switch between um, transparent and solid. I'm pressing the R button, or, or trigger I guess you could say this is. But you can press the A button as well. As you can see, if I wasn't stalling, I would have actually beaten that part-time right away. But it does give you a best, so if you wanted to challenge yourself, you can always beat your best time as well. And you have these little cutscenes in between. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I guess I can unlock that right away since I have beaten the game before. So I can actually play as the 3DS version of Patty if I wanted to. That's right. Our character's name is Pat uh, Patricia Wagon, Patty for short. Ah, this one's more puzzle-based. Don't be afraid to button mash. Uh, I've pretty much memorized some of these beginning stages, so it's quite simple to do. And yes, you can get squished. <laughs> I've done it a lot. Too much with him, so I'm gonna be ignoring him for now. And need to go down. I was kind of cutting it close. There we go. Make a staircase up. And I'm actually gonna clear this path because I'm gonna need it. There we go. Head on up. Now, pretty much. This playthrough is just going to be the puzzle solutions for the game. Move, that'll make things easier. And yeah, I did that in the wrong order, so my time kind of went over. Oh well. <laughs> I'll clear the part times again eventually. <sighs> now, honestly, I have no clue how long I'm going to be recording, so this is a fairly short game. I'll probably stick to maybe, let's see. Three, 
incidents per recording, and then I'll try for some of the par times as well. Oh, this one's quite easy. <clears throat> this one is actually very easy. And again, be careful not to squish yourself when you're speeding through this, because I've done it. And just like that. They make sure the par times are quite forgiving. And there we are. The par times will never change, so don't worry about it if you beat your time. The best is just to show that, um, you can unlock some goodies at the end. Uh, these are fairly short levels, but... Uh, I'll keep going. <laughs> this might be a pretty short Let's Play. But a lot of them are puzzle-based. Since I know most of the puzzles, it's gonna go quick. And, nope. That's a bomb. I want to disarm it. There we go. Nope. Thankfully, the camera's very forgiving, too. Ugh, that was close. There we go. If I start button mashing, I do go quiet, so don't blame me for that one. And you do have to wait for some of the enemies. A lot of mechanics are added into this, and I quite like it. Same with Mighty Switch Force 2, that they added a lot of new mechanics, and they work very well. on the ball's not too hard. Okay. And you'll have to do this with Patricia as well, so... Don't worry too much about it. It does get a little tricky later on. There is something you can unlock at the end of the game that makes the part times easier. Don't worry about it too much. Let's go with one more incident for today. Let's go. Incident Let's 5. Go now this one's interesting. Um, can't do anything with him yet. You can squish the enemies as well with your ability. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. But this is pretty much the main focus and gimmick of the game. Have him walk on over. Shoot him up. Oh, I know what to do. Yeah. I'm gonna walk down there. Oh, I missed. Have him walk back. There we go. And then you have these guys too, which will charge up, but you can squish them as well. Quite a simple game, but what I really love is all the detail they put into hand-drawn animation. I love when it, gamers do this. I've always loved hand-drawn animation, just because it takes a lot of time and effort to do so, but it turns out so much smoother than 3D models do. Let's see if I can't get them to walk on over. I'm definitely going to be leisurely taking my time through this game, so... Squish! Just make it to the exit. Do, 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 
do do. Ha. That one can be tricky. You have to be really on the ball there. Yeah, I've actually known about WayForward since they first released Shante back in 2002. That's when I first learned about them. And then I actually got one of the games they developed, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Spooked. <laughs> the animated one. I remember playing that religiously as a kid. <sighs> These are probably going to be pretty short episodes, but I don't want to show off the entire game in one sitting. So, I'll stop here. Actually, before that, let's show off Pixel Patty, shall we? This is her design from the 3DS. It's got a lot more to it. For some reason, 16-bit pixels can add a lot more detail, but so can hand-drawn animation, but... <laughs> I'm ranting, aren't I? You can see the difference in movement. This is what I was playing when I first came across this game. And I enjoyed it. So much that it actually froze my 3DS. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I seem to have a natural talent for finding glitches in games, whether they're old or modern. <sighs> but I kid you not, I was playing this game trying to beat the par times, and my console froze playing it. It was quite interesting. I should have taken a picture. <sighs> but yeah, you can speed through this game quite quickly if you're good good at platforming and puzzles. A lot of it is just memorization, so... And you can retry the stages, they allow for that. The last stage may be a little tricky, though. But that's another part-time clear, too. There we go! Saving? And we're good to go. Um, actually, another mechanic. Because this is actually a 3DS game, there is a sensor on the touch screen. Um, the same thing goes for the Wii U gamepad if you use, this, use it to play this game. They give you a sonar sensor to pinpoint your next, um, girl, uh, prisoner, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So I guess with that, I'll stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition. This is Autumn Child saying I'll see you all next time. Later, everyone.